Hey guys, it's Collider News and Jeff Wadlo. He wrote a script for Masters of the Universe and X-Force. It didn't happen, but Collider talked to him about truth or dare and we find out why. That's right, so Jeff Wildo, he sat down with Collider.com to talk about his new movie, Truth or Dare, coming out in theaters soon mm -hmm. from Blumhouse Pictures. And in this long interview, he reveals what happened with his X-Force movie and Masters of the Universe. Now it's interesting, his X-Force movie, he wrote this, this draft. Right. And he, he turned it into the studio and they were down to figuring out whether they were gonna do that X-Force movie or Deadpool, the one we got with Ryan Reynolds. And they ultimately decided on Deadpool and Jeff Wildo, left the project, it was kind of a bummer, but we got Deadpool first, and we know that's gonna set up X-Force. So, just off the bat, Dorian, you're a Deadpool fan, Hell so yeah, are I you am. glad we got Deadpool first, or would you have preferred an X-Force movie? Oh no, I, I would definitely, have, I'm, I'm glad they did the Deadpool movie first, because what you have to do is, you have to set up this this whole cinematic universe separate right. from the X-Men and also you have to get in these fans that aren't familiar with Deadpool who have never picked up a Deadpool comic so throwing them in there just with the the whole X-Force and just not focusing on his character I think that would have been a bad move so just introducing him first and now we're going to get the X-Force movie in, a, in the next couple of years yeah. I think that was a perfect strategy I, I think so too and you know this is interesting his details of the X-Force movie uh, he wrote, he said this, when I pitched for it, I said, if X-Men is about the mutants that get to go to the private school, I want to make a movie about mutants that go to public school. They're the kids that don't have a jet swooping down to help them with Hugh Jackman and Patrick Stewart. What's it like when you don't have those guys helping you out and you're forced to figure out who you are in this world? I find that interesting, but it also sounds like he was working in canon, meaning it was going to be tied to the X-Men right. universe. If he mentions Patrick Stewart and Hugh Jackman, obviously before Logan, all of this was happening, that X-Force movie could have been canon, whereas right now the Deadpool movie going into X-Force is not tied directly to the X-Men universe. It's a kind of a separate it's thing. Same thing with it, yeah. Yeah, so uh, hearing that kind of pitch, does it change your mind at all whatsoever? Are you still glad we got the Deadpool movie? No, yeah, I'm still glad we got the Deadpool movie, but like you said, this is an interesting this is an interesting concept of where we we never really get to see the the mutants or the kids that are struggling like not having access to the the mansion or having access to Professor X or anything like that. So seeing their seeing how they have to go about their mutant powers and doing all that stuff, I would have definitely loved to seen that. I think that was an interesting concept, and it kind of it kind of dives into um, we talked about this kind of uh, with new mutants. That's that's kind of the story, like how they were taking it. Kids are not; these mutants are not being taken advantage. They're t being taken advantage of right. because they're not having access to Professor X or any of that other stuff. So it's an interesting concept. I would have definitely loved to have seen, but still glad that, that we had got Deadpool first. Yeah, and and Wadlow says that he focused more on Cable right. and New Mutants, and so like you mentioned, Dorian, we're getting a New Mutants movie. Sort of. I mean, it's if, coming. Maybe. It's just been delayed twice now, and it's going to be another year, August of 2019. We're going to see how that goes. But interesting for everybody that kind of knows me, a Masters of the Universe movie. I actually worked on one with Christian Harloff, and we kind of turned in, when it was at Warner Brothers, a Lord of the Rings meets Star Wars movie. Now, what Jeff Wadlow said was he created, and he was, he was writing one for Sony, and it was more of a Guardians of the Galaxy tone. That's what he was going forward with. This is before Thor Ragnarok. It was Guardians of the Galaxy time. And he was doing it that way. The studio said they wanted a Lord of the Rings Game of Thrones version. So he comes out and says, I did this kind of early. Maybe I called it early because then Thor Ragnarok comes right. out and it's coloring a lot of the way the studio wants to do things. We then saw New Gods set up over at DC which is kind of an answer to that, is what they're saying with Ava DuVernay directing. But with this, do you think his Masters of the Universe, a kind of upbeat Guardians of the Galaxy style, you're not familiar with the Masters of the Universe? Not, not but so, but not so it, does that sound interesting at all? Would you want to see something like based on a toy line in the Guardians of the Galaxy Thor Ragnarok? Hell yeah, I would love to I would love to see something like that, but I'd also like to see you, you and Christian's yeah. your your y'all script come to life. Me too. Day. Me too. But yeah, yeah. It, that, that's an interesting thing. We did want to do a more straightforward fantasy film, but here's the development of Masters of the Universe. We're not getting a Guardians of the Galaxy angle. Right. We don't know what we're ga getting. David Goyer turned in a draft, so he rewrote, or page one, wrote a new script for Masters of the Universe, turned it in. Sony said it was good, and they asked David Goyer to direct it. David Goyer passed. 
So right now, we have a December 2019 release date set for Masters of the Universe, but they passed on, Dave Goyer passed. We don't know where this Masters of the Universe movie is going to land. That's the update from Jeff Wadlow. So putting it out there to you guys, when you hear his X-Force movie, are you wanting to know more about that? Are you glad we got a Deadpool movie first like me and Dorian are, or did you wanna see his version that was more focused on Cable and New Mutants? And as far as Masters of the Universe, what do you think of his take, Guardians of the Galaxy angle? Or do you want a more straightforward Game of Thrones, Lord of the Rings style movie? And do you think Masters of the Universe is actually gonna happen? Let's hear from you. Drop them in the comments, like and share this video. Get everybody talking about what we just talked about and subscribe to Collider Video so you can see more videos like this. And for Dorian and for Riley, we'll see you next time.